Hailing from Lindsay, Ontario, John was a two-sport athlete who attended Lindsay CVI, excelling both on the football field as well as in track and field. In 1973, John was recruited to play for the Warriors, and throughout his career, his speed and athleticism made him a stellar defensive back as well as a dynamic kick returner on the special teams unit. Nicknamed JR by his teammates, John was classified as a superior athlete with great football awareness. Due to his natural leadership skills and high character, John was elected team captain, and his coaches loved his ability to not only encourage, but also to empower his teammates. JR was a multi-year starter in the secondary for the Warriors and was a menacing force in the back end. He was a very good tackler and had three interceptions in his career. In addition to his contributions on defense, John also averaged eight yards per punt return, which is close to most special teams coordinators' goal of obtaining a first down every return. John ranks ninth all-time in Warriors history, having amassed 594 kick return yards for a 19.8-yard average. John was chosen in the second round of the 1977 CFL draft by the Hamilton Tiger Cats. He graduated from Waterloo with a BA in sociology and legal studies. It was two years and a day ago that we lost John physically, but gained him as an angel in heaven. John has been and will be missed. It's my sincere honor to talk about John Rothwell this evening. I'd like to celebrate, I'm excited to celebrate with John's family in attendance, his wife, Marita, sister, Brenda, eldest son, Samuel, and twin boys, Nathan and Joseph. Good evening, Warrior alumni, family, and friends. I'm excited this evening to be able to help induct my 70s teammate, John Rothwell, to the Warrior Football Ring of Honor. I first met John 50 years ago in 1973 at Warrior Football Training Camp. With lockers beside one another, we quickly became the best of friends. Our friendships grew and strengthened throughout the years until his passing April 13th, 2021. I first met John in 1973 in the Warrior football camp. I was in my second year and John was a rookie. It was obvious when he walked through the door, this was an excited kid, was going to be a, a tremendous athlete and he was eager to learn in every way. John arrived in Waterloo from Lindsay, Ontario. He was an accomplished high school athlete. In his final year, he is voted team's MVP for football and the athlete of the year at his high school. At Waterloo, John was a captain. He also played defensive back. But more importantly, he dominated the OUA in the 70s as a punt and kick return specialist. The very first practice, I was in awe of his speed. You could tell when you see a kid running around a 4 or 5 40 that everyone was watching him. One of my duties, in addition to being safety, was punting. I had the best view of everyone on the field. Each time I would punt and John would catch as a punt returner, it felt like he was going to return the ball all the way on every single play. We would become teammates as in the safety and the secondary together, a really reliable and a hardworking, dedicated athlete. My fondest memory of John was a night that I invited him to my house for dinner in our student apartment. And again, as a student athlete, dinner for me meant craft dinner. The door knocked, I opened, and there was John, to my surprise, with a date. His date and him and her were looking all googly eyes at each other and quite smitten with each other. That woman would turn out to be Marita, his long partner wife. As a teammate, I'll fondly remember John's playful sense of humor, his competitive spirit, and his natural inclination to mentor and encourage others. As a football player, I'll remember his gift of speed and always was in awe of his ability to find a running lane in what is the most chaotic and exciting play in football, kickoff and punt return. John loved Waterloo football. He supported the Waterloo football program financially by funding several scholarships. He was also an advocate for the creation of the Waterloo football alumni committee and a catalyst in having the annual game of the Battle of Waterloo against Laurier become our football reunion game. One of my go-to quotes in life is, the greatest gift in life you can give someone is time. John was an extremely generous man, giving of his time. You could see that with his boys. They all attended St. Andrews College, a prestigious private college in Aurora. They were great athletes. John would be there through and through and supported them financially and spiritually throughout their journey in high school. Tonight, I'd like to offer my congratulations to his wife, Marita, her boys, Samuel, Nathan, and Joseph, and John's sister, Brenda, on JR's induction into the Warrior Football Ring of Honor. As Warriors, 
We are proud to celebrate his induction this evening. It recognizes his contribution to Warrior football and his football excellence for all time. I'd like to encourage all of you to continue to share stories as I did tonight about John Rothwell, about this tremendous character man on and off the field. So if you wouldn't mind, I know that John's up there racing around, sprinting, playing some game. If you could charge your glasses, lift them high for John Rothwell and say, John, Warriors forever. <laughs>